Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Our next guest developed a predictions-based gaming app, allowing people to win real cash for being right. <laughs> I, I like that idea right there. He is the CEO and founder of Versus Game, John Vitti. John, welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? Hi, Dave. Thank you for having me. I'm good. It's a pleasure to have you. I know you're joining us from uh, clear across the country in San Francisco, California. Uh, Want to know a little bit more about Versus Game, and then let's get into some of the goodies and how do we determine how do we win real cash for being real right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, so versus game, you're right. It's a prediction game where you get to win money and cool prizes for pre correctly predicting the outcome of future events. Uh, so we're letting people predict the outcome of culture and whatever you're into, which is a lot of different things due to a lot of different people having different interests. Um, you can find those games on our app and our mobile website um, because it's content is generated by users. It could be losers like me to, you know, a Josh Richards and Addison Ray and Kevin Durant. They can come on the platform and create content, share with their audience and everyone gets to play along. And so our, the genesis behind it is that we consume so much content all day long, right? We naturally form opinions and predictions off that content. It's that reptilian primal part of your brain. You can't stop. It's fun. Yeah. And I don't know where you're into, Dave, but when was the last time you're watching your favorite TV show or listening to your, a podcast or a song? And you're like, oh, I bet this is going to happen. And then you were rewarded for that, right? Probably never. So our mission is simple. Knowledge should be rewarded. So it's not just sporting events then, right? It's it's kind of anything that can happen sort of thing. Am I getting that right? I mean, certainly Absolutely. with sports, I can see that. Are you predicting a score or the outcome of the game as to just who's going to win? Or how does it work in terms of sporting events? And then let's get into some of the other ideas. Yeah, you know, sporting events is our, I guess, our smallest, um, you know, uh, category right now. Oh, really? Because there's so many other you know, companies out there that have a lot of sporting events. But for us, yes, we do have some sporting events. It's nothing like who's going to win the game. Um, it's more because th they can get that anywhere. Uh, it's more questions like, um, <clears throat> you know, will um, uh, LeBron shoot, you know, uh, 10 or more free throw three uh, three pointers this game? Things like that. Uh, so more fun types of questions than just who's going to win in sports. OK, well, that's cool. And I, li I like the concept of you're right. There are so many other things, whether yeah. they're gambling sites or otherwise, that that are just into sports. I'm surprised, though, that it's really the smallest category for you guys. So what is versus game? Is that something else uh, that's part of of what it is that you guys are really doing? Well, no, Versus Game is the, is the name of the site and the app, um, and, it, and it encompasses, it holds all types of different industry questions in there. Okay. So okay. because it's user-generated content, anybody can go in there and create a game and share it with their friends or share it with you know, the, the people that are on the app and the game. So that means if you're into sports and it's game five or game six tonight, you know, Celtics versus Warriors, <clears throat> then you can ask a question on that. If it's about crypto, you can. If you're into that, you can ask a question about that, and or it's about the Billboard charts. You can ask that type of a question, like which you know musician song will be higher up in the Billboard charts by tomorrow at noon? Drake versus Kanye. Uh -huh. And then people can go on there and play those games. So we have something for everybody. So it's apparently a lot of social media influencers as well, right? Using the platform. And, and does that in and of itself contribute to others participating? Because maybe they are into that influencer, if you will, uh, and say, perhaps they have a, a little inside info on this. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I don't know about the inside info, but absolutely, Dave, on, as far as the, the influencers on our site, that's those are the verified creators on Versus, um, and there are people like a Josh Richards, Noah Beck, Bryce Hall, Harry Jowsey. These are people that you know have 10, 30, 50 million followers on TikTok or Instagram, right? Yeah. And they'll ask a question that they're into, 
and they'll share it with their audience, wherever their audience lives. So then all those people will see that question. They'll come and play the game and then more influencers see it. And then more people will see it because they're popular and famous. Uh, and then, and then we share a piece of our revenue with those hosts. Oh, and so okay. they're making money without ads for the first time. Gotcha. So I get that that's how they would make some money, some of these influencers. How would we make money as someone who's using the app? Yeah, as a player, um, you can actually play for free and you can put some money in as well. And you can buy utility like microtransactions. Um, but at the end of the day, if you play these games and you're correct, you get to win. You get to win some money like coins that you can be transferred into money. You can win cool prizes from brands like Pepsi that we're working with uh, or Topgolf, whatever that's on the platform, um, you know, gift cards, right? Things like that to Trader Joe's. So, Oh, okay. Very good. So you do have several businesses working with you as well that are in on it because they're getting, no doubt, some good publicity uh, to be involved uh, and providing prizes. It's almost like uh, a lot of our guests and sponsors and so forth providing us with goodies to share with our audience when folks exactly. participate. So uh, it's a win-win-win kind of scenario. So that that kind of makes it work even better for everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we could give your audience uh, a bunch of free coins to go and play with on Versus, you know, and, and so the, you're exactly right. This is exactly what we do. Gotcha. How we part. So tell me about some of the advantages then that Versus Game offers that other platforms don't, since we've talked about how there are so many others doing some things that might be a little bit similar, but it does sound like you guys are very different. Yeah, I mean, the biggest, I mean, there's a few differentiators. Uh, if when you think about versus game, people say, oh, it's kind of like TikTok meets Coinbase. So one, it's entertaining, uh, right? And then and then the usability of it and the site itself is fun. Um, it's educational and 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 we're not just sports. Um, so those are the, the some big differentiators where and you can actually play for free and still win money and still win cool stuff. So those are some big differentiators. We really wanted to be uh, a game and a platform for the masses. We're trying to level the playing field. And we're saying, hey, we don't care what you have in your pocket. That shouldn't dictate how much money you have and how much mo more money you get. What matters is what you, ha what you have in your head and your brain. That should dictate how much money you have in your wallet. So we're trying to put real money in real people's pockets. Gotcha. One of the things I'm noticing as I'm scrolling through your app, will Stranger Things still be number one on the U.S. Netflix top 10? You watch that show? Uh, I do not, uh, but a That's lot of good. friends do. <laughs> and, yeah. and a lot of folks have been trying to rope me into it. And it's yeah, like, you I won't just, be disappointed, Dave. It's uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I just can't get into most series. It's like, I don't have time for that, but I get it. It's very popular. So that's one of the questions then. Uh, so if you're certainly a, a Stranger Things, fan, maybe you want in on that. How would one win money if it's a question that will it still be number one on top 10 Netflix as of Wednesday, June 15th in this example? Uh, yeah. So you say yes or no, and how would you win some money? Yeah, absolutely. So you say yes or no. And so you have um, tickets and coins that you can actually play with oh, okay. on that specific question. And then if uh, I don't forgot the date you mentioned, but let's say it's Wednesday at noon on Netflix, yeah. then that information is public knowledge now, Wednesday at noon, and then the winner is declared, and then you win uh, some coins and more tickets, then you can actually transfer those out to real money or gift cards or gifts and rewards. Got you. What are yeah. some of the more unique questions? I mean, I, I just happened to pick that one as I was scrolling through, but some of the more unique games, if you will, that Versus Games oh. has, has offered and perhaps some of the biggest payouts. Oh, we've had some wild questions. Um, let me think. So some fun. I mean, we've had things as, as different as the weather. Right. Or traffic in L.A. Right. So you <laughs> whatever video games that you're playing. So those days when your parents were like, Dave, turn down that music or stop playing the video games or stop watching TV or rotting your brain. Well, now all that information you have, you can actually do something useful with it, like, you know, make money and predict. Um, so and it, it's really we've had questions um around even the elections uh it's it, and it's all microtransactions so it's small money so 
we're trying to, every day we come in, Dave, and we say, how can we lower the barrier for people that don't have all the money? Because you already have to be rich to make money in Wall Street. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, what about everyone else? What about all of us that are building up these brands, talking about Cardi B and Tesla? Why can't we get a piece of the fun too? So that's what we're doing. Very cool. Well, I, I can see where you can get a lot of folks involved and having some good fun with it. And uh, are there any uh, legal issues in some states because it's kind of gambling, is it not? Uh, it's not gambling. We're considered a skill based game, it's just like the company, the, the public company skills. OK. Um, so, yeah, we are not like a, we're not like a fantasy sports, like a DraftKings. We're more like a skills so yeah, we are in most states and you have to be 18 years and, out and older to play. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's pretty straight from there. Terrific. Well, we invite our audience to check out versusgame.com for more info. But remember, it's an app and a mobile site, so it looks best on your phone or download their app. And versus is spelled out, V-E-R-S-U-S, versusgame.com. Dot com. John, it's a pleasure to chat with you, and I can see where you can generate more and more excitement with some interesting things that perhaps a lot of people don't stop to think about, but you might as well. And then, like you say, use what's up here and check it out. Exactly. Dave, thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. And of course, we invite our audience to check out the video of this interview as well, where we show you the kind of things that John is talking about at Versus Game. Dot com. John Vitti, the CEO and founder of Versus Game. I'm Dave Graveline. Of course, we'll link you to John's site, as we do all of our guests, when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Meantime, stay tuned. There's much more to come right here on Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.